Welcome back, everybody. Hito Herma here, and welcome back to Survival in the Flats. On today's episode, my goals is to, one, is to start expanding the walls. My second goal is to start building a cobblestone generator above ground. The third one, I'm not exactly sure what my third goal is. But we'll see what, how much progress we can get made in an hour today. Because i got to be done at noon. So with that being said, let's get to the game. Alright. I didn't quite get full of cobblestone like I said I was going to. But I did do a lot of resource gathering. I spent about six hours actually taking down iron golems. Stinking bats. Ooh, wandering trader. What do you have? I've got oak saplings, melon seeds. Ooh, I need to go get every every emerald I've got because he's got a lot of good stuff today sugarcane take one of those take some melon seeds definitely is a sea pickle alright Let's get the sugar cane going. We'll dive down with the sea pickle. So in the off time, the villagers not only spawned plenty of iron golems, I even got some sheep to finally spawn. So now I'm able to try to expand the size of the village. So today's first big project being the expansion of the walls. I have a feeling if I attempt to do three stacks of cobblestone going from tower to tower, that should be big enough to surround the city and keep the villagers safe. Oh man, I hope so. But with all that being said, let's get some time lapse music.
Alright, now it's time to start on today's biggest project. The four-person cobblestone generator. Now, as much as I did enjoy the cobblestone generator I built in the last episode, I couldn't really see it being too awfully useful where it was sitting. And I'll get a lot more use out of a four-person, especially if I got friends on. That'll give them a pretty good start for their towns. And I am going to time-lapse this, but it does also mean the underground base is going away to get rebuilt better later on. Let's hit that time-lapse music.
and there's our first piece of cobblestone. With that being said, now the cobblestone generator is technically complete, but it's not how I would like it. So I'm going to continue this time lapse and get it to be the way that I would like it. That way I can have a better yield out of this thing and not lose half of my cobble. Alright, so I didn't quite get accomplished everything I wanted to get done today. But the exterior wall is built. Well, the first layer. Working on second layer. I still have to work on the inside layer. Start working on the dirt pathways. Burn a lot more wood to get charcoal so I can start lighting up this area. Because I'm going to go through way too many shovels, so I might as well just torch the place up. But my farms are good. Hopefully I can keep getting some wandering traders coming through. Bringing a lot of valuables. <sighs> but we've got the bones of the quad person cobblestone generator. Built, set up, and ready for use. Now is just the um, overall look and improvement. We might do that next time, we might not. I might shift my focus back over to the tree farm, which is now in desperate need of improvement after my little bit of improvement that I've had now. But with that being said, I, I'll try not to do too much more prep work before the next video. This time I will explicitly have a double chest of cobblestone before I start recording. Alright, I'm Hito and thanks for watching.